What are you doing down there? You looking for information on Dinger City's next members tournament? Well, it's going to be happening on Friday, December 2nd at 7 p.m. Eastern Time. All you got to do to sign up is become a member. There's a $50 prize pool, and we're playing with all 54 characters and color variants. Be sure to sign up now and get off the floor. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome back to the final game of our triple play. Uh, we got Jason versus Maddie. Uh, Jason is the Birdo team. Maddie is the Wario team. As always, Maddie is the home team. Shaping up to be a uh, shaping up to be a good one. Yeah, no, I'm excited. Honestly, it's it's one of these games where you know Jason, Maddie. I feel like you know for those who don't really, maybe they haven't seen since season six. These two started building up a little rivalry. Great starting hit. Kind of like me and Jason in that like, mid season six, season seven range. And uh, in season, I believe it was nine, on my birthday, we got the birthday bobble and, and, and Jason mercy Maddie. Wow. So Maddie, I think, wants Jason's number. Yeah, and wants to get him I'm, back. We're hoping he takes it. Not only does uh, that have to come into play, but also both of these players are 0-2. Yes. Right? They are fighting to not go 0-3. The, the triple play may be over. We may have already lost. Someone, someone will be 0-3. Is yes. it? I don't know the math on it. I'm, just, I'm sure it's not possible for everyone to be, you know, 1-2 and two or 2-1. Two and one. But there is going to be an 0-3 team. Um, yes. And both these players, I mean, Jason was the number one seed in Season 9. And Maddie has made the World Series twice. Yeah. Um, and has been a number two seed, I believe, in Season 5 and Season 6. Like, Maddie, Maddie was a top dog, you know. But obviously, Maddie has a real job, doesn't play as much, and... Jason it's does as well, there. but Jason plays a lot, you know. Right. So, um, but yet yeah, it's tough to to remain up on top. Absolutely. I'd like to think I'd like to think, you know, Suck. over the years we'll you know we'll kind of have our own our own mango, our own you know IB you know IB doing work, you know our own Zanes. So yeah. you know what? That's some history for you. And uh, Maddie is a uh, is a face of this game, and uh, you Absolutely. know he's here to stay for a very long time. Yes, love him very much. One of my, one of my best friends. Very good at golf. Very good at golf. And we're going to have a nice Another push golf. hit with Toad's Birth. Um, obviously, we're getting a charge swing here. You yes. want to see a PD ding dong. I mean, yes. if you're us, you obviously, see a yeah. Obviously, a fellow come DMC member. Mm -hmm. In this game, we have three members of the team. He gets Ooh! a very, and he a doesn't very get the, nice slap. Doesn't get the burrow suck. Not there. something you see very often. I think maybe that bolt was a little bit above suck range, and yeah. I saw the A press. Maybe just didn't. It was Absolutely. slow. It was slow. Very slow. Yeah. So obviously we'd love to see him take it because oh, yeah. even though we lo already lost the triple play, it would be nice to get another win in the mm -hmm. column. Absolutely. Yeah. But um, big a big strike out there, honestly, for for Jason. Yeah. Getting out of a uh, scary situation with with KB up with Kem. But and now we, we are star swinging, enough. and that's foul. And that's the problem with the Wario star swing. There was a time before like we came out with numbers and this and that where it was like. Well, Wario Star Swing lands 50% of the time because you either catch the ball or you don't. Yeah. It doesn't count for when I one ball's it's... fair and one ball's foul because then you could just go for the ball in fair territory. Right. The only right. good thing about the Wario Star is that on wacky stadiums, you know, maybe one goes in a plant, you know, yeah. or, or one hits the, the you know, chain chunk. So, but on this stadium, you're really not going to get too much, too much interference. Yeah, too yeah, much interference much. with that Wario Star. Yeah. But it's, did it, land. It was interesting, though, because we had. Uh, Ew. We had Waluigi after Wario. Yes. Which is interesting. That may be just like a, a comfort thing, but I think you, you should obviously stack Waluigi above Wario to get the chem, have the option to go for the home run, and even if and he's still your captain, so then you have the option still for the star. So I'll say this. I think with the Wario star, you're getting on second base if it lands. Yes. Waluigi can then bring you then theoretically home. It's true. And also, so if you're going heavy into the star, yeah. Yeah. Makes sense. And at the same time as two, I feel like with his team being, you know, with all of our teams being a little bit weaker than they normally would for real teams, the top of your lineup is going to get on, yes. right? So having runners on first and second with maybe one or two outs, you could just kind of full force send them. Yes. So I think maybe making sure that Wario can come up behind those, you know, the, the KB, the, the PD, just in case you do want to walk them. You still have to pay for that star hit, but That's we weren't true. able to land a star. We have a 0-0 game, bottom of the second. Maddie using a star, not landing it um, into match. And, and another thing, you know, because uh, I don't know. Uh, who, I know Maddie is uh, is comfortable with a few characters. Like he like he likes Boomer. 
He likes yes. he likes bones. Likes uh, likes likes Luigi. Likes Daisy. Likes yeah. those baseball bats. I don't know how he feels about Waluigi. From what I've seen, I've seen bits bits and pieces as I've been watching and supporting my teammates uh -huh. as they play. He hasn't really been performing with Waluigi, and he could be off today, or he could just be uncomfortable with the character in general. We saw in the, his first game, he was originally pitching with Waluigi. And he let up two runs, and he was like, nope, I don't want to do this. Right. And he, he swapped in Toadsworth, right. and he's looked a lot more comfortable on the mound. Yes. So it, it, it on top of the leaning into that Wario star, it also seems to be also maybe mm -hmm. a, a comfort thing. Yeah. Well, the thing is, too, is that before I would say the Nutters really cracked this game open and showed, like, exact how long bats are, how big contact points mm -hmm. are, you know, what's better, lefty-righty, it was always... Take characters that pose value, that possess value, and that you're comfortable with. Yeah. And the thing is, I think Even the one... still, it's and, a lot like that. And I think the thing that maybe we didn't really think is that Manny isn't good with Walu, right? So maybe it would have been more beneficial for me to have a Walu. Yeah, you have Walu. maybe me. Even though his team looks better, if he's not using him if to his... If he's not good with the bat, like if I'm not good with Hammer Bro, I'm not going to use Hammer Bro. But I think, I think at the end of the day, it's, it's one of those things where... You, you know can't who, you can't really knock it until you try it. Right. And you know who he has been actually performing very well with? Baby Mario. Baby freaking Mario. Yeah. I've seen him get that hit that he just got mm -hmm. multiple times over the stretch of this yep. this this uh through this series. And that's a great hit. Oh, oh it's foul. And that ball's still on the line. I don't know how they call the foul. It's still on the line. Um you know, the one thing I will say is Maddie's hitting. Maddie's issue has been he hasn't been able he He's lining out a lot to yeah. those middle infielders on plays like that, and his star hits have been double playing. You yeah, know, it's the, not that the, he's not, he's he's putting a good piece on the ball. The which timing seems like every has time. been a little off today. Yeah. He got low trage a couple times with with uh with Petey Piranha. That ball is not gonna land. Very surprised Blue Noki got there that quickly. Yeah, that was that absolutely. was that was a quick play. We're and going we're going to the top of the fourth inning. Yes. And you know what? Zero, zero. I it completely got away from me. What? Uh, usually this is a third, third, I almost said third period, thinking hockey. Hockey? Uh, third inning segment, okay. right in between, but we, here we are in the fourth, so I'm going to do it now. Ew. You know what it is? Colin's uncomfy question. Oh, okay. If you choose to opt in to my uncomfy opt question. In. He opts in, ladies and gentlemen. I opt in. Uh, which means your reward is you get to ask me one in return. Okay. Had he chose not to, ladies and gentlemen, opt into the uncomfy question. <laughs> I would have asked him just a regular question, but he gets no right to ask me one. Okay. So, I opt you opted in. in. Yep. So, okay. today's uh, is, um, where is the weirdest place you have come? Because we are oh. come DMC. Right. So. Okay. Weirdest place. Weirdest place. Okay. So, a lot of people, actually, I don't even say a lot of people. Um, for a large majority of the time when our channel had like 1,400 subscribers, 1,200 subscribers, that majority of people, right, knew this story. But I don't think you've ever heard this story. I don't think you've ever heard this story. I don't story. think so. I think, yeah. Um, this is, I told this back in season six, like, like season six, week six, a while ago, and you could fact check me on it. So the worst place. Let me paint a little picture for you, okay? okay. I'm, I'm now, seeing it. So when I was 20 years old, mm -hmm. uh, actually, I'd say, I'd say 19. What a rip. When I was 19 years old, uh, turning 20, uh, I was over 385 pounds. Wow! This Might balls. See... Oh, oh! He gets the star out wow. of it. Wow! Ah, that's tough though. I was uh, 385 pounds. Yeah. Um, and back then I was the type of kid that you know was always friend zoned. Um, I didn't like the way I felt on the Good inside, hit. and that started affecting my you know I didn't like the way I looked on the outside, and that started affecting the way I viewed myself on the inside. So at 20 years old, I decided to go on the journey of my life, and I'm still on that journey today, and it's becoming the best version of yourself. You can do anything you want in life, realistically, you put your mind to it, and you will work hard and stop making excuses for yourself. Everyone has a shit day, a shit upbringing, but at the end of the day, if you surround yourself with good people, you could do anything. Preach, um, and when I was 20 years old, I decided to go on the journey of my life. I wanted to lose as much weight as I possibly could. Educated myself, did all this, right? And at the time, I was a virgin, right? Um, and I, you know, was didn't have any confidence. Mm -hmm. In May of the same year, so like it was around 10 months, I had lost over 175 pounds. That's and amazing. I, thank you. And I, and, uh, it was the first time in my life, I remember I had new clothes, I had new shoes. I felt good. I had earrings on, I had a, you know, low, you know, low fade. 
and I felt really, really good. Maddie's taking this nicely. We have one of his bread and butter characters up here. Didn't even, Ooh. didn't even see it. We didn't, scored yeah. a run. Yeah, didn't even see it. We That's just, awesome. Yeah. Um, <laughs> and I pretty much felt like I was Goku in a hyperbolic time chamber. Okay. Um, I literally didn't do anything. I was just working out every single day. You know, did everything possible, and I looked good. I, I don't oh. look like I did now, but I looked. Baby you know, I looked, I looked pretty like good. Sucks. Um. Anyway, go on. And I went to this party. Oh my goodness, what is going on? What's I don't know happening? what's going on. I don't know what's what going happening? on. We're having some trouble, but okay. we are here. Okay, run yeah. on scoring position. We had a weird... Uh, KB, sorry yeah. to cut you off. No, you're good. KB should have jumped. He dove. Didn't get the catch. And then, we're... That then is baby in Mario. the gap. We have Baby Mario making the catch. We're not going to push our runner. So, um, I went to a party. It was a beach party. And at this party was a, a lovely young woman who I had met a couple months earlier, like when I was very overweight. And I always kind of felt like I had a chance opportunity. Uh, and it just didn't work out. I didn't have the confidence. Didn't feel good to myself. And uh, it was like one girl to 20 dudes on this beach party. Ooh. And, you know, things started progressing. And we ended up just like making out. Yeah. And it was really, really cool. And the problem is, is like, you know, for me, I'm the type of person who puts my friends before myself. Right, right. So even when I like couldn't attract anyone, I always was like... You hang out, my friend. Like, I wanted my friends to be happy, right? right? I lived through my friends. I still do. And when I started, like, making out with one of these girls, um, everyone was, like, sabotaging me. Like, friends who really aren't in my life anymore. Mm. But they were, like, upset about it, and they were, like, trying to, like, cock block me, essentially. Wow. So I took her into my car, and we drove down the road. Okay. I'm hammered at this point. We're both hammered. We start, Both players we, trading good stars here. Uh, Jason was able to get a, a good star hit and, and score a run there. Trading good stars like we were yeah. trading spit. So Woo! we're so we're going back and forth, right? One thing leads to another, and it gets to that point, right? Right, where that it's been time. like three hours where I was just and I I, I didn't know what I was doing. I mm -hmm. I was just I was like, does it hurt? <laughs> Is it good? <laughs> I don't know. You close? <laughs> <laughs> I, 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 really, I had no idea what I was doing. But you know what? I dove head first in, literally. And it got to the point where I was like, where do you want it? And she goes, I don't care. Wow. And in my head, I'm like, no, she doesn't mean that. Like, she, she doesn't mean that. And I, I was like, where do you want it? I, I said it again. Right and she was like, Ooh, I don't care. Up. For some reason, that prompted me to jump out of the car <laughs> and finish in the middle of the road. <laughs> wow. <laughs> and then I got back in, and uh, I just drove her home. <laughs> How classy. And it was one of those things where, you know, I look back on it, and I say, like, wow. my night could have been, like, 5% more better. I don't know if it would have changed my life at all. But, like, that goes to show you, I still had no confidence. I, even though I was like, like, what do you want? I don't care. I, I literally jumped out, and I looked like I was convulsing in the street. Oh I was so goodness. drunk. I didn't know what I was. I didn't, I, I'm pretty sure it was raining. And wow. uh, I... That's fantastic. Dude, that's an awful star. And uh, I got the road pregnant that night. What's that? I got the road pregnant. Road got pregnant. Yeah. Damn. Yeah, the road. Yep. Yep. It was crazy. You, it was crazy. And you the baby daddy of the road. Yep. And Nick still works with that person. Wow. For over seven that's so, years. <laughs> that's crazy. Yep. Very. Was it uh, his sister. <laughs> no, 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 no. Oh God, no. Oh God, no. Speaking of uh, God, no. Jason we have, threatening. We have Yif Daddy up. Man on third base. Yeah. This is a uh, honestly. I'm not upset if I. Great catch. I'm not up at the pitch around there because we have a character up who doesn't have a star hit, and now we have a one-one game going to the bottom six. I, I think Maddie has this. He's, he's, he has two more innings up to play. He has a, he has a power hit up to bat, and uh, I think his lineup is a little bit better going forward. But yeah. we shall see. One thing to keep in mind, Dennis, is you have one and a half innings to ask me any question you want. Oh, one and so, a half innings. Okay. You're on the clock here. These shortened games are, are getting at us. Okay. But that oh, was a fantastic story. And thank I you think, for participating. Oh, oh, oh thank you. <laughs> That's landing. What a oh catch! My God. Got a little lucky with the 50-50. Oh, and, and good reaction time God. as well. And that's going to be the inning. Let me. Okay. We're heading into the final inning, tied 1-1, mm -hmm. to see who goes 0-3. Mm. This is big. The triple play may be over, but this is big. This is huge. And this you is... have a question for me. Yes, I do. So let me ask you this question. Okay. 
So at least chat can relate to it. Okay. Now, we were we were we were friends before the meetup, right? Mm -hmm. Um, we brought you in here. You watched the channel as well. Yes. I want two people. Someone you thought you weren't gonna like, maybe just based off a of personality, maybe a little uncomfortable around, who you thought you were gonna like, or sorry, weren't gonna like, and you end up liking him, and someone who, you know, is your favorite person uh, to play against. Ooh, okay. So someone, so someone you went into the club saying, I don't know if I'm gonna vibe with this person, but you vibe, and your favorite person to play. Um, not too personal. Yeah, I'm looking around this room. I mean, it was it was crazy because like everything, uh, kind of was like at me at once. It was like boom, I'm in this. Right. And now I have to get to know all these guys, you know, besides you. Mm -hmm. So, oh god, I gotta make this quick. We have two outs. Um, yeah, but it's tie game, so it's gonna go to extra. Oh, that's true. That's true. We may see free some free baseball. baseball. But um, I think I can give you based off um vibe. At the meetup. Okay. Um, Mr. Joe always seemed like a cool dude. Uh -huh. At the meetup, I maybe said hi to him. That was it. Uh -huh. I I didn't really see the 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 fun side of Mr. Joe at that meetup. Mm -hmm. He was all business that day. It seemed like all business. Also, free baseball, everybody. Free baseball. And <laughs> so, um, Mr. Joe going into it, I was like, okay, I don't know anything about this guy. And at the meetup, he was all business, which was understandable. He was kind of, it seemed like he was kind of like making sure everything was cool. Right. Um, so he was definitely one where I was like, okay, like, I if don't he, know if I vibe with this person. Right. Because I just didn't speak to him. Right. And not now, I mean, with everybody here, it's like, I, I've bonded with you guys so quickly. Yeah. It's been amazing. Yep. Um, I love playing against, hmm. Honestly, I, I would say either you or Jason because Ooh. I've played you two the most. Okay. Um, it's been a lot of fun playing against you guys because at first I was getting stomped by both of you. You mercyed me the first game we played. Jason mercyed me the first two times we played. Right. And I've been able to see myself progress playing against those you two players. Mm -hmm. um, whether it be just in general my skill at the game, but also my skill against you two has vastly improved. Mm -hmm. um, you saw in the playoffs, I, I 3 0 Jason. He was off that day, but I still, after playing him a bunch, I studied our tapes, and it's been amazing. Also, huge run down. That's a crazy run to score. Oh, my goodness. My God. That is, that is so tough for us come DMCers to see. <laughs> but yeah um playing against you and jason has been great awesome yeah no honestly it's uh it's it, it's crazy you know because we, we we were close you know a little, little pretty close before the meetup and stuff like that but just yeah. bringing out to bring him to the fold and all that stuff we played in the tournament too which a lot of people yeah. don't really know because it was a live stream and uh we're now advancing we're now two it is three one. runs three yeah two runs right there up three one this is tough. You don't want to see anyone go 0-3. Um, Absolutely. But, you know. It's got to be someone. It's got to, it does have to be someone. And I'll, I'll answer the same question I just asked you. We have the out at home. Oh, my God. The oh. arm is so bad. Oh. Jeez, you got to think. Oh, he's, he's teasing him. Teasing him, maybe. Woo, going, going a second. But yeah. He turns around smartly. Um, I think my favorite person to play is... Uh, I'd say it's Nick. I just I like playing Nick. Me, me and Nick play a lot. We play. We, we used to. I mean, what people don't know is is like before season. I'd say before season eight. Yeah. We used to play so much. Like yeah. I would come over because it was like one of those things where it was like there were there was a time where I don't think Joey had beaten me, Tyler beat me, Nick had beat me a couple times, and it was like every time we had a free spare moment, and we weren't baseballed out yet because we'd only been really. No, doing dinger city stuff like maybe just over a year yeah we used to just only play freaking baseball all the time and uh i always loved playing nick and friendlies always loved it mm -hmm. always loved it and i still do yeah all these guys are awesome love playing against them mm -hmm. this is and and look i mean this is just the 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 freaking peak of the 
the first time we've got a uh, fucking this is the creme the, de creme. the, the fr extra extra innings here. Yeah. This is crazy. And it's really only I the mean, eighth inning. Oh, we're getting it. And, and that's, that's gonna be the, the game. game. Absolutely wonderful performance yes. from both players. Unfortunately, the, uh, Maddie is fall has fallen. Yeah, and uh, three. and come DMC. Has uh, has fallen. Has fallen. Uh, honestly, you know what everyone says. I want to see some humdingers. Yeah. I wanted to see some cum dingers. You know, we didn't um, really see many. Yeah, didn't really see many. Yeah, it's tough right now. Speaking, Feeling like the little Kahuna. Yeah, honestly, sh uh, hats off to everyone watching, and hats off to the baseballers. Um, this was really really fun, and uh, hopefully we can do this again sometime. Um, also, hats off to all the members that are on screen that have been rolling through the credits as we're talking. Um, please. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. It really does help us go a long way. Join the Discord. Buy some merch. And, uh, you know, honestly, we love you. Thank you for watching the season. Thank you for watching this part of Triple Play. And um, now, the next thing you're going to see is someone's going to get voted out. And uh, I don't know who it's going to be, but we shall see. I'm Papa Den. I'm Colin. And see you in a little bit. And uh, Dinger City out. out. Um, yeah, so if I could vote for myself, I probably would. Um, I went 0-3, so it was kind of a rough performance for tonight. Um, I kind of blame myself. Uh, it was my idea to speak up and have the strategy of changing how we drafted. The teams were set. We all had balanced teams. And I was like, well, we just need to win five games, so let's just stack two teams. My idea originally was to have Dennis have a stack team so he can go just go 3-0. and But Dennis felt like he could have the best chance of winning at least one game, which he did, with the, sh with the shittiest team, pretty much. That being said, I guess my vote is for Colin. I feel like Dennis played the best, uh, especially with the worst team. Um, I would, again, vote for myself if I could, but um, I haven't played in probably over a month. Um, very rusty, but there's no excuses. So I showed up to play, and I did not play well at all. Um, I scored five runs over three games. It was a uh, Mets-like performance. Pretty embarrassing. <laughs> So, um, and I'm saying that as a Met fan. Um, yeah, so I guess my vote is for Colin, but I would definitely vote for myself. So, yeah, I mean, I think based off of, uh, I think I may be underperform. I, I wanted to do a little better, but um, I think that Dennis's team was built to... Go zero and three. Um, he ended up going one and two, which is, which was great. We wanted to all beat Cokes, but obviously that <laughs> did not work out. Um, yeah, um, and and Maddie Maddie had the best team, and he did not pull through. So I vote to evict Maddie. What's up, gamers? So last time I did this vote, I did some like reverse psychology mind games. Uh, oh. You saw it, and uh, honestly, um, I'm just gonna vote out Maddie. Um, <laughs> he went 0 and 3, and uh, I think Colin's on the same page with that. I don't know who Maddie is trying to vote out. Maddie probably said me. Um, so uh, we shall see. But uh, if uh, you know, you get the best team and you go 0 and 3. I think you deserve to get voted out. So, Papa Den. What's up, baseballers? We had an incredible triple play, but unfortunately, come DMC, one of you has to go. Unfortunately, I only have two marshmallows. The player who does not receive a marshmallow will walk down up the stairs and have to leave my house. <laughs> Gentlemen, in my hands are two marshmallows. If you receive a marshmallow, you're safe. The first marshmallow goes to Colin. The second marshmallow goes to Dennis. Ooh, I'm sorry, so Maddie. <laughs> you now have to leave my house. <laughs> but thanks so much for Shut the fuck up! Who will leave next time? Find out on Dinger 
City Triple Play Hello Kitty Island Adventure. I named it Dinger City Out.